Picking up from where we last left off, we delve further into the paradoxical world of nice guys. Let's unmask the not-so-nice traits that often lurk beneath the surface of these seemingly harmless individuals. When it comes to honesty, nice guys often fall short. They tend to hide their mistakes, sidestep conflict, and say what they believe others want to hear, their emotions repressed. This pattern of behavior makes them fundamentally dishonest. Moreover, they are masters of secrecy. Driven by a need for approval, nice guys conceal anything they fear may upset others. Their motto might as well be, if at first you don't succeed, hide the evidence. Compartmentalization is another skill in their arsenal. They are adept at reconciling contradicting pieces of information about themselves by storing them in separate mental compartments. This way, a married man can convince himself he's been faithful, despite crossing lines he shouldn't have. But that's not all. Nice guys are also manipulative and controlling. They struggle to prioritize their own needs and express them clearly. This sense of powerlessness often drives them to manipulation to get their needs met. And to keep their world smooth, they exert control over people and situations around them. As we uncover these traits, we realize the nice guy might not be so nice after all. Diving deeper into the psyche of the so-called nice guys, we find hidden layers of rage and addiction. These men, often seen as the epitome of kindness and generosity, harbor a reservoir of suppressed anger. This rage, born out of years of frustration and resentment, is hidden deep within, ready to explode in the most unexpected and seemingly inappropriate moments. The nice guy's world is a constant battle, a struggle of maintaining a facade of calm while wrestling with internal tempests. It's a pressure cooker situation, and like all pressure cookers, it needs a release. This is where addiction steps in. Sexual compulsiveness, a common addictive behavior among nice guys, serves as a temporary escape, a fleeting relief from the pent-up emotions. Their inability to set boundaries further fuels this vicious cycle. They often find it challenging to say no or stop, making them feel like helpless victims. This perceived victimhood traps them in a never-ending loop of frustration and resentment, feeding their hidden rage and addictive behaviors. And yet, despite their internal turmoil, they continue to isolate themselves, making it difficult for people to get close to them. This isolation serves as both a shield and a prison protecting their nice guy image while confining them in their own emotional labyrinth. Beneath the surface of the nice guy, we find a tumultuous storm of rage, addiction, and isolation. 